Alabama playing at home. They will be the visitors here in game number six of this Tuscaloosa Regional. Alexis Mack steps in to face Cagle. And Mack chops it foul at the plate. Flaps into center field, and it's another hit for the senior Alexis Mack. That is her sixth of the regional. Fine. Another one two from Cagle. There goes the runner, and it is a stolen base for Alexis Mack. That's her 24th this season. And now Alabama, we talked about small stacked lineup in Alabama having to adjust to that strike zone. Tao lifts one to right field. That's Oda moving over, tagging at third, and scoring is Mack. And it is one-nothing Alabama. I think Kaylee Tao is going to be a key hitter for Alabama because teams might end up pitching around Bailey Hemphill, but here she gets enough of this ball to drive it out into right field to allow Alexis Mack to easily tag up and score. Jenna Johnson rounds it off the third baseman, grabbed by the shortstop, Gillstrap, and Johnson's going to be safe. So another error for this Clemson defense. Chop back behind the circle and in time at first base. The one two. There's the first strikeout for Fouts. And it's a one, two, three inning for the junior to get things started for Alabama. College World Series in June. So I don't know. There's a solid single from Woodard. I, you know, this is nothing new to you. You know, you're following seven innings live in the studio. You've got multiple monitors going right now. You've got the stats open for multiple games. This is Morgan looking to sacrifice, and it's a very successful sacrifice. She'll be safe, and this is part of the Alabama game plan. They want to put pressure on Clemson. Not for Alabama. Clark with a solid shot to center field, and that one is gone. Three run, home run, Taylor Clark, 4-0 Alabama. Taylor Clark had her coming out party last week at the SEC tournament with a home run against Tennessee, and she continues that here in this Tuscaloosa Regional. Two runners on board trying to extend their lead, and Taylor Clark comes up huge. She has somebody that has embraced that next man up mentality, stepping in at shortstop when Claire Jenkins went down with that season ending injury, going up against one of the best pitchers in the nation. And she takes this drop ball outside, drives it dead center over the wall for a three run home run to extend Bama's lead. That's Claire Jenkins. For you guys, is there anything we can do to help you out? Brown with a chopper, and this will be a base hit. No getting the speedy Brown at first. She has her fourth hit of the regional. There goes Brown, and a good throw and a good tag, and Brown is caught stealing. Well done by JoJo Hyatt. There's some good defense from Clemson. <laughs> like, I haven't walked back to the dugout after striking out in a long time. Now she comes back with a bloop and a good play by Gilstrap to close ground and get there to retire the side. Historically, Alabama known for their power, but really a great speed team. And they've been able to utilize the team that they faced in the SEC championship game off to a 4 0 lead against Clemson in the Tuscaloosa Regional. Bounce gets the strikeout, her second one down. Ground ball right side. They get the force at second. They try to turn two, and they do turn two zone ground ball through the center field and it's a base hit with two down for KB sides that's her second hit of the regional she is a threat to run fancy NCAA blade tournament but a good bounce back for Georgia there goes the runner and sides as mentioned a threat to steal comes up with her 11th stolen base of the season almost ended up in left field <laughs> close she might have come off the bag, the bag right there. 
Again, no video replay in the NCAA tournament. We saw it in the conference. First one in the second. Chopped up the middle and through. Bingham is aboard to lead things off here in the third for the Tigers. Bounce gets the strikeout. That's number three, one down. He'll strap to Morgan. Robbed her of extra bases. Bama comes through with the defense. Brown with a chopper. You know that means trouble. Second infield hit for Alyssa Brown. She's aboard with two down. That's chopped. Gilstrap gets rid of it quickly but throws it away. The error is costly. A run scores, and Alabama is on top 5 nothing. Another unearned run given up by Clemson. And again, it's the pressure that Alabama's speed puts on this defense. Because that ball had some hang time, Ansley Gilstrap tried to rush the throw, get rid of it really quickly, and because of that, it sails all the way into right field. This one just out of the reach of Kaya Keller. Can't get a glove on it, can't keep that ball. Hempel with a mile-high pop-up. Gilstrap has it to retire the side. Doesn't get something to hit. Takes a walk. She's aboard to start things in the fourth. Here's Phil in the studio again. That drops down. Swing and a miss. Strikeout for Montana Fouts. That's her fourth. One down. Comes back. Gets the strikeout. Two down. Cami Pereira with the chop to Morgan at third. Not in time. Good speed by Pereira down the line. She's aboard with two down. Pops up. Tao stays with it. Makes the play to retire the side. Called strike three. Cagle gets the strikeout. That's number four for the freshman. It's a one. Bounce gets another strikeout. That's her six. One away. going back into the dugout, and it looks like she was hit by that pitch. So she will reach base safely with one away. Swung on a miss. Fouts gets the strikeout. That's number seven. Another chopper on the infield makes for a tough play for Clemson. And Morgan is safe with one down. This time... Trying to go over shortstop and Gilstrap cover some ground to get back out there to make the play. <laughs> Worth repeating that they are still starting out. Fouts gets Cagle here for out number one. It's ready again with the one two. Called strike three, strikeout number 300 this season for Montana Fouts. To sit down these Clemson batters. Sits down another one. Strikeout number 10 for Fouts. Double digits again for Montana Fouts. Oh, good pitch from Thompson. Fired up, too. They'll have to make the throw to get the out to retire the side. Chop to Fouts. Going to have to hurry, but she'll hold on to it as Pereira has her second hit. Another infield single, so the leadoff batter is aboard here for the Tigers in the seventh. Swung on and missed. Strikeout number 11. One down. That's a dozen. One out of way. Into the opening. Here's another 0-2. Grounded to Tao. She's got it. And Alabama's got another regional win. Three wins, three shutouts. It's back to the Super Regionals for the Crimson Tide.